imagine. Every night a herd of wild elephants creep out of the jungle and into your backyard. In a matter of hours, they'll destroy everything you own, everything you've worked for. All you have to defend yourself and protect your land is a burning torch soaked in diesel oil. Beneath the harvest moon, the rice fields of northeast India have become the stage of this recurrent nightmare. The raiding herds, driven by hunger, threaten not only the ripening crop, but the lives of the farmers who desperately try to chase out the giant trespasses. A bow and arrow only enrages the dominant female. Tonight, these farmers are lucky to escape with their lives. In India, the largest mammal on earth is on the warpath. Each year, elephants will kill over 300 people, some trampled, others torn deliberately limb from limb. Why put up with it? Why not just shoot these rogues? The answer is not so simple. Here, the elephant is revered as the living incarnation of the Hindu deity Ganesh, and you cannot kill a god. If there is any solution to the problem of crop raiding elephants, it lies in the traditions of a 5,000-year-old Indian profession. By dawn, the elephants have melted back into the surrounding forest. Gods or not, these are the down-to-earth realities of living with wild elephants.